Hello everyone, welcome back to Manufactoria 2022. I was just poking around through the earlier levels to see like, to just try to remind myself what had been happening and see if there were any where I could easily improve. And I saw a candidate picker where I realized um, I had done well for uh, time and stamps, but not area. And I think this was one I even spent some time talking through and said there's just no possible way to improve it. You need to, uh, Scanners, right? But if you guys watch the episodes after this, you'll you'll recognize the problem, which is that I don't need this row up here. Um, I can just take this thing, oops, and uh, flip it, right? If I want, oops, if I want uh, to optimize for area instead of for speed. I can take the, un the the empty tape and send it back into here, which already has a way to handle empty tape. Ta-da! So now, now we have uh, all the correct solutions for this, and they're not all the same. We can optimize for time, like this, or for area and stamps this way. So, there you go. Uh, but let's let's move on to um, gosh I don't know are any of these interesting? They don't even have. I feel like this one didn't even have a way to optimize for any of that stuff. Anyway, let's move on to Yum Division. Food robots would be our first product aimed at big companies. If our robots had even a single bug, we'd be in big trouble. Jada was the perfect product tester. Working several other part-time jobs in different restaurants, she was ready and eager to critique our bots in action. Do you guys want to start with the D anchovizer? Pick the anchovies off of pizzas? Or the sub-inspector to, I guess, work on Subway sandwiches? So many times, the unsuspecting pizza consumer is confronted with an undesired topping placed there by error or by an inconsiderate pizza ordering parent. Pizza ordering parent. Manual removal of each food particle is terribly inefficient, so I thought, what if there was a better way? Okay. Remove all blues. Then produce. Well, that's a little tricky, isn't it? How do I know when I'm done? If there are up to 19 reds, I shouldn't have a separate state for each number of reds. Should I? Seems insane. Hmm. No algorithm occurs to me for this. Obviously, like, you send it through a scanner, right? And if you see a blue, you just go back to that same scanner. If you see a red, you, like, rewrite the red and go back to that scanner, right? But if you do that, you'll never have an empty input. Ah, hang on, hang on. There's more constraints. They're not just, um... They're not just arbitrarily put together. The blues and reds are guaranteed to alternate. Okay. So, uh, all right, it, I, I think it's like almost impossible without that constraint. I think you could do it by having 19 different states, but I don't think you could fit that on this board. Uh, yeah, like no way, right? Anyway, but this, this is doable. So we have an input. So I guess this is teaching us to pay attention to what's up here and we scan it. If we see a red, okay, so it doesn't have to be red first. This one is red first, but it does say it could be blue, red, blue, or apparently could be red, blue, red. So, um, if we see a red, then we stamp the red. Well, I mean, equally, I suppose, we could, 
consume the blue that we know is on there, and then stamp the red, and go back to start, right? No. Wait, can I go back to the start? How do I know when I'm done? How do I know when I'm done? It'll be when I read a red that isn't followed by a blue, I guess, in this state, right? So if I read a blue, then I have to stamp a red and go back. But if I read a red after reading another red already, then I need to write them both back onto the tape and then accept, right? Something like this. If I read just one red with nothing to pair it with, I also accept it, but only write one of them back. Okay, this seems about right. So let's copy this, paste it, flip it, color mirror it. Done? Um. And I guess there might be no inputs, so we should accept here as well. No, incorrect. Good. Tell me why I'm wrong. You gave me a blue? I read it. Oh, because I'm supposed to remove all blues, you dunce. Okay, I, I was I think I needed something separate down here. And I do, but it isn't supposed to be the exact mirror of this, because I'm supposed to be removing blues, not reds. So if the if the if the tape begins with blue, then I can expect it to be blue red, blue red, blue red for whatever, for a while, right? Wait, so do I know it's going to be in pairs? I don't think I even know that. I think it could be like blue, red, blue would be a valid input. But I'm not sure. Let's find out. Blue. There is no goal for this. It's not allowed. Blue, red. Yes, that's allowed. Blue, red, blue. Still output the red. This? It's impossible. Ah, so blue was allowed and we were supposed to just remove it. Okay. Got it. So blue, blue, that's impossible. Blue, red is fine. Blue, red, red, no good. Blue, red, blue, yes. Okay, got it. So they're coming not in pairs, but each input that is there will be the opposite of the one that was, or, well, different anyway, from the one that was before it. So I think our red half of the factory handles that just fine. We get a red. If it was two reds, wait. If it was two reds, then the input condition was violated, and therefore what we see must be something we wrote, not what was on the tape before. That's not true. It could have been a single. Well, yeah, if you get two reds, that's impossible. So we write both reds out. They must have already been there for whatever reason. Um, if we get a red... And then nothing, we write out just that red. We get a red and then a blue, we write out just the red and then loop again. So I think the red half of the factory is fine. The bottom half, where we deal with blues, is supposed to be different. Um, so if we get just a blue... I mean... Actually, I guess it's pretty simple, right? If... Uh, If we get a blue and then a red, we write out the red and go back to start. Um, if we get a blue and then a blue, that should be impossible, right? Because we're never writing more blues. But if we get a blue and then a blank, we can go ahead and accept that, right? After slurping up the blue. 
Okay, this is better. Very good. The de-anchovizer worked perfectly. Unfortunately, Jada had to put in even more work than before to clean up the mess from all the discarded toppings, and then to reassure the customers that their order had been picked apart by a highly advanced robot, not an army of rats. And yet, she kept smiling throughout. Amazing. Oh no, there's four on this. Complexity very high. Oh, we're allowed to just leave. Interesting. Uh, well, teach me about Sub-Inspector first, at least. After a widely publicized and very embarrassing health scandal, Satisfying Subs asked us to build them a robot to disassemble everything the sandwich artists created, crafted, and check for any incorrect ingredients, expired sauces, stray rats, etc. We had to design a new deep cleaning protocol for this project. Produce robots that enter with one or more red at the start and end and have exactly one group of one or more consecutive blues sandwiched in between. This sounds pretty easy, I think. Right, we, we read any non-zero number of reds, and then a non-zero number of blues, and then a non-zero number of reds. So, a scanner. And if it sees a blue, we can just yeet it. If it's empty, we can yeet it. And if it sees a red, we have to go to another state. We can't reuse this one, because now we've satisfied the goal that we have at least one red. As many reds as we see, we just feed back in here. Um, if we run out at this point, we yeet it. I hope you guys don't mind I'm saying yeet. I'm a hip uh, generation zoomer. That's me. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeet has entered the, the general collective lexicon. It can't be stopped anymore. Um, it's a good word. If we see a blue, then we say great. We enter a state where we're looking for many blues. Can I get it to reuse this dump here? I don't think I can. Because... Like, okay, if it's empty, go there. Great. But I can't have anything ever going back to this state. So I think I'm going to need uh, a new... Maybe I can do this? So as long as we receive blues, stay in this state. But if it empties out, go here. And when we finally get a red, um, then go to yet another state where we just want to suck up all the reds until we get to the end. Um, and any blues get destroyed. I, uh, I don't think I can put another... Well, hang on, let me just... Okay. So... Um... So what is it that I'm doing? If I... Obtain... I'm just... I want to eat up all the reds. And I want to accept when it's empty and destroy if I ever see another blue. So this seems correct, although not especially efficient. Let's see if I'm wrong. No, this looks good to me. So I think I'm doing well on stamps. I don't think I can do better than this, can I? Wait, what's going on up here? Nothing ever goes there. Oh no, that's where we start. Edit. Yeah, we start here. Okay, so, uh... Just run again, because I wanted to see the... I wanted to read the endgame flavor text. After we got the inspector worrying away, Jada suggested that customers might prefer the sandwiches reassembled. I argued that since the same ingredients were present either way, 
Oh, that the same ingredients were present either way, so what difference did it make? After a lengthy, lengthy discussion, we agreed to disagree. Sure. Really? That's a surprise to me. I didn't expect to be perfect at everything. Oh, look at that! I beat Pleasing Fungus on area. Take that! Let me go tell him. I assume it... If I had more than two friends who played this game, would there be some way to look at them? I don't, but if I did? Huh. Other people are doing even better. Which is fair. But I'm surprised Pleasing Fungus. I thought he, like... Obviously the scores he sets as goals for the game versus the scores he makes himself are not, like, the same. But, uh... I thought he usually did a pretty good job of hitting good scores. Anyway, whatever, he doesn't, he probably should, won't care that I beat it, but I thought for a moment that it was special, and then I realized a lot of people did. Okay, uh, here we go. Sandwich police? I don't know. Do I want to do any of these, like, high complexity ones, or do I want to go look at new levels? These, these, I assume, will be like, optimizing techniques that I already know about. I don't know. I should look at them, right? Um, I could go learn, like, new things to do. Hang on, I have to move windows around because I fiddled with stuff to go find Discord. Okay. Uh, I, I assume, like, up here, maybe I'll... This, this is a green chemical. Are we finally learning about green? I love green. Let's, let's look at some of these. Um, sandwich Police. Jada brought us a great referral. Toasted Buns, a competing sandwich chain. While working there, she'd noticed their customers often complained of getting dangerously thin buns. Causing chaos as sandwiches collapsed under their content's weight. Could we design a robot to catch these issues too? Okay, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so accept, it says produce, but it used to be called accept, and I still keep, keep thinking of it as accept and reject, not produce and junk. Accept if they have at least as much... Okay, what? I don't totally understand this. Okay, so... They're sandwiches. Okay, so I'm guaranteed that they have some number of reds, then some number of blues, then some number of reds. And I have to ensure that the number of blues is not larger than either of the numbers of reds. Is that hard? Like, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I've done this in the original Manufactoria. Maybe it was just, like, reds and blues, and not, like, reds and blues and reds. But, um, this doesn't actually seem that hard. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this in less than ten minutes. Um, so the idea is we... Um, start by reading a red, which we are... We're not quite guaranteed that there's a red there. At the beginning of the program, there will be, but I'm going to re-enter this state later and not be guaranteed there's a red, because I'll be peeling uh, reds off as I go. The idea is to iteratively mm, define step as follows. Remove a red, remove a blue, or remove a red. Iterate step until one of the piles is empty, and then either accept or reject, depending on whether that pile is the blue one. So, at some point, this red... I'll, I expect to read a red here, but I might not. If I read a blue, then I should reject. Because it means that there was not enough bread on the left side of the sandwich. 
So that's, that's an easy thing to do. Done. One of my termination conditions is complete. If I read nothing, I guess I can accept, right? Because it means that the sandwich was perfectly balanced. But I expect most of the time to read a red. In which case, what I must do is read and copy a bunch of reds until I hit a blue. Um, can I do that without like making the layout stupid? Not really. Until I hit a blue or an empty tape, I guess. If the tape is empty after I've copied a bunch of reds, it means that the filling is gone and therefore was not larger than any of the reds. So empty, okay. So I think we want like this, right? So read a single red, then go into, ah, it's supposed to be red copying mode, not red removing mode. So we can't actually do that. Okay, something like this then. Oh, whoops, I was looking at... Uh, I, I, pleasing fungus replied to my message. Um, Sorry, I can't help myself. Uh, I guess I could actually remove this and just go up here then, whatever. So if we get a blue at this stage, that's what we expect, that's the next step. Actually, I should um, I should flip this. Ah. How do you flip Z? Like that. So we copy a bunch of reds, and if we get a blue, we move on. We get a white? I think we said we accept, right? No, hang on. Accept is this one. Because it means we ate through all the filling. But now we get to a blue, and we say, okay, great. Now we, we ate one filling, and now we need to copy the rest. Um, with, again... this kind of thing. And if we get here, we reject because we ran out of filling. We ran out of bread on the right before we ran out of filling. But now here we've eaten one bit of filling on the right. And... Oh, this is in the way. Um, now... Wait a minute. What I was going to say is now we just have to eat one piece of filling, one piece of, of, of bread, and then remove, and then copy all the rest until we get back to here, right? And then start over. But I can't, because there'll just be more, more red in the way. So I actually have to remove two pieces of bread here, I think, in this state. If I succeed in removing, oh, this is tricky. If I succeed in removing one, but not a second, then I have to jump into this state here. Because I succeeded in removing the first piece. And I need to check, oh, was I out of blue? And what if I succeed in removing two? What state do I go to? Wait, can I not just remove one and then do... Oh no, 
This is so weird. I thought I understood what I was going to do on this puzzle, but I don't. Not having a way to tell the front from the back is very troubling. of bread from the back. How am I ever going to know when I've looped back around? How many am I How many inputs do I have? A lot. Okay. So it's not like there's only ever some small number. So the problem, I think, is that there is a difference between having, like, one one bread on the left and eight bread on the right versus having, like, four and five. Those are different. In one case, I should fail if there was two filling, and in the other case, I should succeed. Or, well, junk and produce. But how, when I'm looping around the whole sandwich, can I, can I do this? planning to do just works and I can't quite figure out why. It's like... What are... I think so, because this whole thing is circular, right? I just have to make sure I remove two at some point in the middle. So I remove one. And then, if I succeed at removing a second, I go here. And if I don't, then I need the sandwich to be empty. step, as I've said many times. Maybe I'll just ask real quick on, uh, on the Discord. Uh, he's already gone to bed. Okay. Um... that the sandwich was... Oh, I don't know. Let's write down something concrete, shall we? Well... Oh, I see. I can move the cursor. Okay. Um, so say the input was this. In that case, we would basically just go straight to here. If I discover the tape is empty, I should happily accept. That's fine. Um, if it has a blue, I should reject. If it has a red, I should re-enter the loop somehow. But I kind of want to copy some more reds, right? I don't know. Maybe it just works. 
gonna assume it just works. Um, so let me put an, a scanner thingy here, where blue is reject, white is accept, and red is keep going in this state. Is that not the same as just going straight up here? Am I... I think it is, right? I'm going into a scanner that says if white accept, just like this one, if blue reject, just like this one, if red go here, just like this one. So actually, that whole idea is like nonsense. Um, I guess I can make things a little bit more efficient, like so. I don't think this will work, but I want you to show me why. So red? What was the next? I wish this would go slower. Okay. Oh, that's my stepper. I just didn't imagine I could drag this. Okay. So you gave me red, blue, red, red. I should have accepted this, but I did not. What did I... Why did I reject it? So I ate a red. That was the bread. I ate the filling. I ate another bread. Now I'm in a state where I have only bread. Oh, not going to this one, but to this one. Um, it should, uh... Should have been like that. Okay, good. It's wrong for a different reason now. This time, you gave me red, blue, and a bunch of reds. So, I ate a red, I ate a filling, I ate a bread, and now I have just bread bread left. I should be happy about that, but for some reason I'm not. So now I eat one red, and I copy another red. Oh, I'm stuck here forever. I see. Yeah. Well, what am I supposed to do about that? Here was me promising I think I could do it in 10 minutes. It's been 15 and I'm still not done. Yeah, so anytime there's like a lot of, anytime there's more red than blue on one side, I'm going to have this problem, right? Maybe, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. I was thinking maybe what I should do is like treat the first step through as kind of like a, a test run, not a test run, as a special case. The first time through the sandwich, where I start at the first red, and then after that I should start only at the first blue, and just remove two red once I go through, figuring it's one from each side. But as we discussed, that's not correct. I can't just treat both halves of the sandwich as one giant piece of bread because of a test case like um, like this, right? This is still not valid. I should reject this. Even though there's loads of bread, it's all on the right. I don't I don't think 
I understand how to do this yet. Because I... I can reproduce the symbols on the tape, but not, like, the order they're in. Or where I am... Well, the order is fine, but where the read head is. I can't get myself back to the state where I've deleted a red, a blue, and a red without moving the cursor position. Which I think is what I need to do. I can put some blue on myself as a marker. <sighs> Using it as kind of a poor man's green and yellow. So after... That's what you have to do. Is it like where can I put it to make the div the division that I want? I think I have to put it before I start reading, right? That was a pretty common thing to do with green and yellow in the original manufactory. Is put them on right at the beginning, so you know where the tape started and when you're when you're done with the symbols that were the input. Um, so suppose I start by writing a blue to say here is where the left loaf begins. Then I can do all the stuff I was just doing and copy reds until I run out at the end, knowing that I'm removing only from the end. And then I'll get to a blue, which I know is from me, right? because I, I put one at the beginning. So the first blue I run into after processing, while processing the right loaf, will be mine. I can remove it and then put it back to mark again, this is where the left loaf starts. And then do all this. Yes, I think that is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so get me back to edit mode here. And, um, here I'm... Okay, let me get, get back into the headspace of what's happening here. I cop... I, I swallowed one red. Okay, I need to... Ugh. Grab all this, scoot it over. Grab this too and scoot it over. Put in a blue right at the start. Now, in fact, we don't need this, because we're never going to find an empty tape. We're always going to find at least a blue, right? And if what we find is blue, after the blue we just wrote, it either means there's no left sandwich left, or the entire sandwich is gone. Oh, shit. Because... I say, oh shit, because now I can't tell the difference between those two. Whether the sandwich completed successfully, or I just found my own blue marker. I can't just throw it away, can I? I now have to look. Was it only the blue? Have I found only myself? Or was there any other marking left? In which case, it isn't just me. So I guess what I do... is I accept if the blue that I found was mine and junk if anything else weird was going on. I don't think it should be possible to find another blue after. Of course it is. To find another red, yeah, these are both possible. Okay. But it, it is impossible to find nothing here, so I will never go that way. So, 
I wrote a blue. Now I'm, I read, I ate the left bread. I copied the left bread. Now it's impossible again for this to be empty because I know I wrote a blue and I haven't seen it yet. So I don't actually need this pipe. I don't need these yet. This, this just can't happen. Now I, I take a blue. And... I copy all the blues. If the... if... If that blue that I found... Oh, this is tricky, I think. Well, I found at least one blue, but if it was the blue that I put there artificially, then I shouldn't reject, right? If, if I just... If I emptied the tape by, by reading that blue, then that means there was enough bread on both sides that I got to, like, basically a finished sandwich here. So this needs to be an accept. Accept. If there were more blues, then at least the first one of them was part of the filling. So I know there was more filling left, so I should copy all but one. But uh, now at this point, I've copied at least one, but I don't know if there was any bread left to the right of it. I might get myself into a state where I've eaten all the bread and I'm just cycling over the completely blue tape. Tell me I have to do some stupid shit like put a red on here to guarantee that I don't run into a loop while going through blues and then eat the red later. I really hate that. But like, what, what inputs am I thinking about where this would be a problem? Um, suppose the input was red... Like, that would do it. Red, blue? That's not even a legal input, but okay. Say we make it red, red, blue, blue, red, and then we'll eventually get to that state, right? where suppose that we successfully stripped off one layer of everything and then we put a blue right in front of this red. Then the tape would look like, as we get to here, here. Um, blue, red, blue. It would look like that. And we would get to here. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I don't get to that state. Because... I detect a blue at the beginning and I explode. Right? Hang on, let me... So I was imagining red... Blue, blue, red, red. We put a blue on front, and then we remove one of everything, and we're left with this and a blue in front. Then 
then we get here and we say, oh, there was a blue in front. Let me leave. Okay. So I wouldn't run into a loop in that case. But... What about this case? Now I go through once and remove one of everything, let's say. And I'm left with this. As I, as I re-enter this area. And I, I toss a blue in front. While it goes in back, I guess. And I go to here. I read a red. The red's gone. I go here, I copy zero reds, I read one blue, and then I go into here and I just copy blues forever. So this idea doesn't quite work. I have to somehow put like a red in here before I start doing this so that I know that I won't run into a loop forever. But the problem is I don't know that I've successfully like a red? This is too hard. All right, we're gonna we're gonna not finish this one today, guys. I think we're gonna move on from Sandwich Police to learn about other techniques instead. Come back to this one another day when I'm smarter. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.